Hello everyone, my name is Ace10. And I'm Decoy. And welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are here in Goron City. We just rescued Yunobo from the abandoned North Mine. And now we need to talk to Bluto um, and see if he's gotten his painkillers. Uh, his back was hurting real bad in the last episode, wasn't it? If I was making that kind of sounds with my back, I'd be in the hospital. Oh, right? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him and see what uh, he's got to say. Oh, it's the tiny traveler! Yunobo told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? <laughs> well, apparently he doesn't see the armor we have, because uh, this isn't really necessary. But, you know, I'll, we'll appreciate the effort anyway, right? Yeah, it's a gesture. Yep. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yunobo. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rudania a good wallopin... Uh, who's Daruk? <laughs> Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Let's see if we can see it. Yep, there it is up there. <laughs> there he is. Cool. Okay, now they do the cutscene. That's right. Yeah, just like um, when we looked at Mipha's statue in Zora's domain, this seems to be triggering one of Link's memories. So let's see what's gonna uh, what he's gonna recall. other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh gosh, that seems a little, uh, the word escapes me. Um, ominous. Ominous, yes. <laughs> Impending doom coming. What's gotten into you? Highlands sure are strange. Anyway, Yunobo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudania. Oh. Oh. I guess we could have, like, looked at him when we were doing this. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Just peachy. Dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> Ow. Oh. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yunobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at the Elden Bridge. All right. What'd you think of my voice acting, by the way? <laughs> it was pretty good. Jeez. Oh gosh. Alright, so it looks like he's gonna be near Elden Bridge. This is, of course, uh, where we're gonna have to meet him. Elden Bridge is actually right here. Um, and it looks like it's not lowered. Hmm, alright. Well, let's go ahead and uh, waste no time heading that way. Right? Over 
here. Up the hill we go. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky getting there. You can climb up that way or get up to this bridge. Uh, let's see if we can get up to this bridge somehow. Looks like we're gonna have to head kind of up to where the um, abandoned north mine was to get there, but shouldn't take too long. It's not that far, yeah. that's for sure. Oh wow! Well, it looks like the divine beast is right up that way. There it is. Yep. So that's uh that's where we're heading, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up uh, towards the shrine that we just unlocked. And it's a little bit of a roundabout way, but we'll be able to get up to that bridge and uh, where we need to go. Some more uh, octa rocks along the way. Go ahead and take care of those. At least they drop some good materials. Yeah, that's the one benefit. Oh gosh! Oh, wow. I wish one of those things would come down and kill the octopus. Yeah, right. Nice. Land on him. Oh, I thought it, it. I think it, it hit one. It hit um an ostrich. It sounded like. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I don't know okay. where the ostrich was, but that sounded like one of those when they when they die. It hit something. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Oh well. They can be kind of annoying though, because when you get close to them, they can like look at you and charge at you. So. Yeah, they they're a little odd. Yeah. Whatever. Well, hopefully that's the last time we'll see those uh, big rocks come down. Yep. Here, eat this. Yep. All right. I'm not sure if we ever saw this, yep. but um, if you don't take care to uh, grab the materials, see how they're smoldering like that? They will eventually catch on fire and burn up. Yep. And if that happens, then it's kind of too late to grab them. So. All right. So uh, here's this interesting little, I guess. A little track, mine track, maybe. There's a cart. Yeah. Hmm. Don't know if this is the best way to do this, but maybe. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> or just give it a shot. All right. So just like the cannons, we can put a bomb inside this. Let's see. Just drop it. Oop. <laughs> Didn't want to throw it. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> Let's try again. All right, let's drop it instead, right into that little receptacle there. And when you explode it, it'll actually move the minecart over, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, yeah, this kind of brings us back to where we were, so didn't really that help didn't us help. out. No. Um, but these are actually magnetic, so what we can do is grab it, and we can move over to the other side. Unless it doesn't. Come on, flip around for me. I wonder if it actually does. Oh, good. Okay, there it, does, it goes. It does reposition itself. Okay. All right, so if we actually want to go the other direction, just go ahead and pick it up, flip it around. Make sure the bomb is inside of that. Otherwise, you'll probably get hurt from the explosion. And then we can just go back the other direction. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and hop off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Almost made it. Oh, wow. Well, that could have been bad. Uh, <laughs> we should be able to get back up here. No problem, though. Oh, yeah. Man, I really thought we had that, but that's okay. Optical illusion. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh. All right, can we get up to the bridge? Let's see. Should be able to hop off right back here. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and waste no time heading that way. Let's see, this should be the right way. I don't want to take a picture. That's okay. Yeah, as long as we head uh, that direction along that path. Oh, looks like there's another minecart. Thing there, so oh, very nice. hopefully that'll help us get there a little bit faster. But while we're going, yeah, let's talk about that cutscene we saw, uh, the memory that Link had of Daruk. What'd you think of that? That was interesting because it shows an actual, like, a happy time, I guess, before there was all the major issues going on. That's right. Yeah, it seems like all these cutscenes um, happened before the Great Calamity. Yeah. Kind of a glimpse as to what Hyrule looked like before it actually came apart. Yep. All right, so this minecart is uh, not on the track, so this is this one we actually do need to uh, put there. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that wow, works. that was interesting. Yep. All right, and then. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right, now we don't actually want to go too far because I believe down this way there is a shrine. Oh gosh, uh, wow. Let's get out of here real quick. <laughs> There's actually going to be a shrine in this direction. So let's, let's head underneath the... 
get some cover in here so we don't get hurt by these little magma bombs. There they are. Alright, nice. Alright, we're getting closer and closer to this beast, aren't we? Uh, but yeah, here's the shrine. So there it's it is. It is kind of hard to see because that orange looks just like the lava, doesn't oh, it? It looks exactly like the lava. Yeah. But yeah, this will be uh, really convenient if we ever need to warp back here. Or if you need to, you know, restock or cook some meals, uh, this will be a nice uh, nice spot for you to warp back to. But let's go ahead and uh, head inside the shrine and see what's inside. Alright, there's some thumping going on here. Let's see what's happening. Oh wow, that is a large stone <laughs> cube right there. Uh, so yeah, every once in a while this thing will kind of um, push this thing up, and I don't think we've seen anything like this before. This uh, glowing yellowish green thing. Yeah, that's interesting. It's similar to those metal ones we've seen that are spheres, though. I think so. And there's a chest over there, too. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab what's inside here. There we go. I think this is the only chest in here. Something valuable? Well, oh, it's okay. decent. 100 rupees, we'll take it. Yep, and that is the only, um... So let's, uh, let's see. It looks like something is... One of those oh. gates is opening, I think. There's that orange thing up there. And it looks like that's getting energized by this uh, electricity, and that's opening the gate. And that looks like, yeah, that's the end of the shrine in there. But, yeah, unfortunately, this isn't... Can I have uh, to stasis it once it probably. hits the top? Yeah, let's, let's try that out. Okay, yeah. It looks like it's staying energized, and that's opening the gate. So and let's head to the end. Yep, that seems like that was a good solution. Okay, that oh. works. All right, I, I like shrines like this that are really nice and easy. Yeah, that, it's almost like a blessing shrine more than almost. just a test of being able to figure figure out the puzzle. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and collect our spirit orb and be on our way. All righty, so we've got to head up this direction. I can probably climb up. I like this music, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, but uh, Unova should be right up this way. Looks like we'll have to walk along that path a little bit more, but it won't be too bad. Perfect. Alright, yeah, so if you're a fan of trombone, you probably uh, really like this music. Oh gosh, looks like he's in trouble. Let's uh, take a little bit of a closer look here. Oh, Black Moblin. Yeah, alright. Looks like there's a back Black Moblin around him. And he's, yeah, we saw him protecting himself, uh, Unobo. We saw him protecting himself back there against the monster, so. Um, hopefully he'll be able to stay protected like that, but we definitely need to uh, attack this Moblin, so. Let's see. Um, Bluto did give us those, um, what do you call them? The uh, elixirs? So we can put on some better armor. And let's go ahead and uh, drink an elixir because we're gonna burn up as soon as we uh, <laughs> go Exit back out, out of this. Screen. Yep. yep. All right. All right. So we're gonna have to go against a mob. And let's grab a weapon that's look pretty good. This one looks all right, I guess. Um, our yeah. shield's okay. Yeah, yeah. Either that or electrocute him so he drops whatever he's threatening him with. That'd be a good idea. I think we'll need a. Um, Shock arrow, yeah. maybe. Oh, there's two moblins. Two moblins, yikes. Okay, you know, but it was like, yeah, someone please help me. Well, we're right here, so just in time. Okay. Let's see, do we have any shock arrows? We do. We have a bunch. Uh, yep. So we can sh shock his uh, spear. Oh, oh nice. turns out it's a drill shaft. Okay. Uh, Gordon Artisans used recycled metal to forge this weapon. Oh, cool. They're, they're very green. They're recycling. That's nice. The tip is made from an old excavation bore, which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities. Nice. Well, we don't have room for it, so, so he's going to pick it right on up again. That's all right. Ow, that hurt. Ooh, that looked like it didn't okay. feel good. Oh, you tried, didn't nice. you? Nice. Then he's done. Right, that one's finished. And, oh, he picked it right back up. That's kind of cool. Snatched it. Oh, crap. Our guardian shield broke. Well, let's grab another one. Okay. Woo! Not bad. Come on, we can do it. Alright, I'm just gonna throw my... Uh, we weapon's about to break, so I'm just gonna throw it at him. Nice. Oh, he's almost dead. Very good shot. Oh, and now we have room for the drill shaft. <laughs> right? All Break right. one can replace it now. That's Come on, right. Unobo. Chill out, dude. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> wow, you're crazy strong. You saved me again. 
<laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't really save him from monsters. Well, I kind of did, but... The first time I didn't really save him from monsters, but this time, sure. Alright. Mm. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did. Oh. Uh, still no sign of boss, huh? Well, no, well... He's we, not coming. We gave him the painkillers, or you did, but, yeah. Huh? I didn't do good enough. He needs the extra strength. Yep. Extended he does. release he, or yep. something. Excedrin. <laughs> not taking the strong yep. stuff. Yep, his back hurts. Aww. After we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Hold on, we can we can mm. help out. You're not going back, but why? Uh, we want to board the Divine Beast. What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? What do you think you are? Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there. Mm. Though I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Well, we got Hyrule to save, that's oh, why. That's right. Hmm, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons. Oh. The problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. Well, the beast is big enough, I'm sure it could <laughs> scale the bridge, no problem, but... In order to get to where Rodania is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Uh, I guess we can't get across unless we figure something out. If boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck. Oh. Oh, it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you? Yep. Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball, and you'll launch me. You sure about that? I've got direct protection. My ancestor's help can't possibly fail me. <laughs> that means I can smash into anything, and it won't hurt one bit. My ancestor, Daruk, was a big deal. That's what Boss says, so it's just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away. Just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. Well, we'll try. <laughs> Alright, so we'll need to switch to our bombs. Let's also go ahead and move the cannon so that it's gonna aim right to the bridge. All right, Daruk, or not Daruk, uh, Unobo's in there, ready to get launched, so let's go ahead and do it. Bullseye. And he bounced off. All right. The bridge has been lowered. Pretty awesome. That wasn't too hard. No. I was expecting something more difficult. Yep. And he bounces like a ball. Cool. Doesn't okay. hurt, he says, huh? <laughs> Looks oh. like he's knocked out a little bit, not too bad. We did it, see that? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. That power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection. It really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, so let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead. For somebody who munches on rock all day, you'd think he'd take a hit like that like it was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he must have a hard head, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so where is this beast? Can't really see it yet, but I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing it soon. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. Another cutscene. That sort of magically worked into the cutscene, because it definitely wasn't there before, but that's okay. Hmm, that thing looks pretty serious, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that hurts my stomach growling. Uh oh. Oh, nasties. Oh, weird. Okay. These look like little mini sky watchers. They're certainly colored the same. And they have those little propellers on them. Oh, and they have searchlights just like them, too. Hmm. Oh, yikes. A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Redania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt. Mm -hmm. I always get spotted, and then magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think he'd be able to do that, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Maybe the best idea is for you to give me a signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move around. Mm. Let's hurry and decide what the signal would be. Uh, got any ideas? Ooh, a wink. Let's do a wink, yeah, we just, you know. But he had to, like, look really close at hey. the work. <laughs> hey, come here, or stop. Right? Uh, I don't think that'll work. Mind powers, how about mind powers? Uh, Link doesn't seem to have mind powers. Maybe not. Well, Zelda communicates to us kind of telepathically. But, but that's right? Zelda, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, a whistle is the only thing we, we got. Because we can whistle for a horse. And we know how to whistle, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and do a whistle. 
That's a good idea. When I hear you whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse. Oh. How would he know? Okay, then I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. All right, so... Oh, shh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch back to our uh, armor here. It's apparently... It's so hot here that we started... Actually burning even though you get the flame guard. What? Wow. It must be like super, super hot. The air itself burns. Wow. Okay. True. All right. Well, good thing we have um, our armor here. All right. So Daruk will... I keep calling him Daruk. Unobo will continue following us until we whistle. And then he'll kind of stay still. Um, but generally, you want to stay on the path here. And if you're too far away when, when you whistle, uh, he won't come towards you. So you have to sort of get a little bit closer to him. So it's a lot like the horse whistling then. It sounds, seems like. Oh, yeah. If you whistle at the horse too far away, then it won't actually show up. So... <laughs> All right, let's be careful here because there's a sentry right up there. It tends to stop before this little rock outcropping. Um, so let's go ahead and proceed and uh, get Unoba right here and stop. Uh, because the searchlight will go right over this area. And once it passes over you... Can't see then, anything. Yep. Once it passes over you, then go ahead and uh, run away from it. And then you'll, run, you'll want to run away just kind of as far away as you can, but the sentry doesn't really come uh, come over this far. They kind of have their own paths, and they won't really venture too far away from them. So, we're good there. Let's go ahead and continue moving, uh, making our way up here. Oh, there's one there. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna have to take care of this, and there's a rock in the way, too. Alright. Right. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, tell him to wait there. Uh, grab our cobble crusher, and we have some stasis, so let's go ahead and use this to uh, move these rocks out of the way. Should be good enough. All right, hopefully that doesn't just block the rest of the way. It might. We might have to move that again. <laughs> All right. As Wait, far you as I know, hit it to hit the sentry. But... Yeah. As far as I know, that that might be possible. Let's see if this one does it. Probably not. No, I don't think we'll do that. But uh, we're kind of stuck here because this sentry isn't moving. So we're gonna have to figure out another way around it. Uh, let's see if we can climb up here. Oh, there's something on the top of this, it looks like. Oh, there's some lore up here. That's cool. I didn't see that. Alright. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Unoba won't really be able to climb up this way, but... Oh, it looks like there's some rocks up here. Uh, I could probably push that off. It looks like it's right below them. I think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and push this rock and uh, see if that takes care of the sentry. Oh, perfect. Kills it in one shot. Oh, wow. Alright, well that looked like it opened up the path. Um, and interestingly, these sentries do drop ancient parts, so, yep, make sure you pick those up. Alright, let's keep heading this way. I think we're gonna have to move this rock out of the way, so let's go ahead and do that. A couple of hits should be okay. Perfect. Alright. Alright, looks like there's another one of these cannons. Well, it's just gonna be shooting out. Let's see, well, it looks like it's... Not really aimed anywhere, but... Oh, I could aim at the beast. Oh, it could aim at like, the beast. That's right. Because it's... He already said something about having to shoot the beast and make it... Yeah, we'll have to weaken it somehow. Yeah. Alright. So it looks like this cannon... Yep, it's aimed directly at the beast, so let's go ahead and fire. Nice. Alright, looks like it's moving a little further up the mountain. And there's more sentries along the way we'll have to take care of. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty. Take a few seconds to take a breather. We did it, Goro. If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Rudania. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to do this a couple more times. Not an issue. Uh, funny story about this Divine Beast, though. Um, the first time I did this, I did not know you were supposed to use the cannons to fire towards the beast. Oh, really? So I made it all the way to the top of the volcano and had to go right back down with you know and do go, it over yeah, again i had to go all the way back down to the first cannon to uh fire the shots all right so here's um another one of these sentries here let's tell you nobody to stop and um yeah let's see if there's anything on the top of this that can help us oh, out like the other one yeah there might be a rock or something at the top of this one that we can use so let's see Can we make it all the way? Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's some metal cubes here. Okay. Those always hurt real bad if they hit something. Yep. All right, so let's see if we can move it a little out of the way here. Knock the sentry around a little bit. There we go. Cool. Oh. That one's finished. All right. 
Looks like there's another one over here, but it's a little too far away for us to take care of, so... Uh, let's just set this queue down over here. And uh, move on over here, and this should be close enough. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Alright, looks like there's another metal cube if we need it. Uh, but let's head down to Unobo and get him a little bit closer. Alright, so yeah, we're a little bit too far away for him to hear us, so... Um, and if you look at the mini-map, it does show his position on there, so if you ever... Oh, it does. I didn't see that. Yep. Looks like a uh, mushroom from, uh... Uh, Mario Brothers. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of does look like that. Or a little Goomba. A Goomba, yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, here's another sentry up here. Um, let's get Yuno to stop where he is so we don't... Wait up, right. Inadvertently, uh, put him there. There's this, um... I guess bridge-looking thing here. I think... I think if we... Oh, that broke the or. <laughs> oh, it did, didn't it? Ooh, cool. We'll definitely want to pick that up. Well, I kind of wanted this to span... Alright, this isn't going to work. But I do want that sapphire, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, let's... Oh, good. That's the way I wanted it to go. Okay, cool. Alright, so we can actually put this right there, and that will... Uh, cause the spotlight not to um, not to see us. Perfect. All right. Yeah, we don't have to worry about uh, killing that sentry. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but we'll need to go up uh, this way. It's a little tricky trying to find the path. Yeah, the path seems very unmarked. Yeah, especially at night. It's nighttime right now, so it's a little. Oh, there's a fireproof lizard right there. Uh, so if you need any, uh, tread carefully. <laughs> but yeah, at night the path. Oh gosh, and there's a. Moblin right here. Let's pull out our weapon. What do we want to use? Probably this. Looks like he's got a sledgehammer. Oh boy. Whoa. Missed you. Yeah, luckily we're close enough where it uh, didn't hurt us. Alright, I don't think we have room for a sledgehammer, so we'll just leave it there. Alrighty, cannon number two. Yeah, luckily these aren't too far away from each other, but let's go ahead and load our bomb in there. Okay, Link, come on. In the cannon. There it goes. There we go, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and fire towards the Divine Beast a second time. Nice. Looks like we've got a direct hit. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. Moving further up the mountain. Oh, yeah. We did it! Direct hit! <laughs> and thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit. My ancestor came through for me. If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. We certainly won't, you know, Bo. Alright, let's 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 keep going here. Alright, last area is going to be right over here. Alright, so make sure you don't get caught by this, uh, this sentry right here that's circling around. Let's kind of wait right here. Tell him to stop. All right. So it looks like there's a little bit of an updraft right here. I think we can throw a bomb in the updraft, and yep, we can get take care of one of the sentries. I don't know if this will work for the other one, but it might. Yeah, maybe not. No. All right. So let's go ahead and climb up a little bit. There might be another one of these little metal cubes up here that we can use. Or maybe we'll be able to throw a bomb from above. Maybe that could work. Got a ways to climb on this one. Yeah, this one's pretty tall. Uh, we might have to eat a stamina meal. Uh, we do have a piece of our climbing gear, so that'll help us climb a little bit quicker. But oh, you see those three sentries out there circling off the way distance? up there. Yeah, yep. That's gonna be fun to deal with. All right, let's see what we got up here. Nothing. It looks like. Hmm. It's hoping for something. Well, maybe like you said, a bomb might do it. A bomb could work. Yeah, looks like there's nothing metal up here. So let's let's try for a bomb. Stand right up here, throw it, and see if that works. Hmm. Stasis it, maybe? I think stasis will work on these. Oh, I, I, I knocked the ore out. <laughs> Hopefully nothing was really uh, valuable. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Here we go. Okay. It can be a little tricky with the timing, but it can work. Oh, it looks like there's a topaz that It dropped down. a bunch of... Yep. Wow, look at that. Alright, is he coming? Yep, he is. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, wow, there's a rock here. I wonder... 
This could work. Yep. I'm not sure how many times we'll need to hit it, but this could work too. Let's, see. Let's just do maximum. Let's see if that works. Okay, not really. All right. At least it's up there. Yeah. I was hoping that would work, but oh well. All right, it looks like this is about as far as we want to go, right up to this little outcropping here. That's a good landmark for you to use. Yep. All right, it looks like there's another rock there, but I don't know if that'll really help us too much. Let's just uh, be so a dark careful. it's hard to see if there's any metal around. Yep. All right, so it's a bit of an updraft here. We can use that to get a little higher. That'd be nice. Oh, metal. Cool. All right, so we should definitely be able to use these to take care of uh, to care of these entries here. All right. So those are a little further away. So let's put one put one right there. We don't want it to fall down really. Good. All right, be too far away, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and set it down here. A little further down. Oh, there's more there. More blocks? Oh yeah. Yeah, to your right. right one more. Let's see once it gets a little bit closer. Oh, boy. Well, that one fell down. That's right. We got another one here. Perfect. Alrighty, and um, I think I saw some mob ones a little further up. So let's take one of these with us. That could prove useful. Okay, good, here it is. Alright, yeah, you see there the small ones are. off the distance? Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can use this to our advantage here. Cool. If Two knock, hits. If you knock them uh, hard enough, they will die very easily, so. Grab their uh, materials before they burn. Nice. All right. If you need another slow oh, chamber, there you go. Another think, cannon here. Yep, this should be the last cannon. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, load our bomb up in here. There we go. And ready for the last final hit? Yep. All right, let's do it. Hit number three. Here it goes. Awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh, somebody blew the fire out. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, hopefully. Maybe we don't need our armor. Alright, where's this divine beast going? Going up into the caldera. Oh boy. That was so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. And like a boss, here we go. Straight into the volcano. I love how everybody says, here's our big chance. And then they never follow. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a paraglider like us. That's true. We should send him over to the Great Plateau. Yeah. <laughs> here, do these four shrines and then we'll give you yeah, a paraglider. Get back to us, yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so it looks like we're going to head into our second Divine Beast. All right. All right, travel gate in case we want to come back. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. 
You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? That's right, Daruk. You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Alrighty. So it looks like getting to the map is going to be a little bit more complicated Ooh, than... it just uh, got dark. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than Baruta. And yeah, it just instantly got really dark, which it looks kind of neat. But there's a bunch of these eyeballs that we'll need to take care of. So yeah, let's go ahead and take care of as many of these as we can. All right, and it is dark as hell, so let's see. Is there anything, do we have a torch in our inventory? Um, I don't see one. Yeah, so finding your way around is gonna be a little tricky, um, but I know there's a torch around here somewhere, so let's go ahead and maybe drop this cobble crusher here. We'll use it for quite a bit. I think one of these chests does have a torch. All right, ice arrows, we'll turn those down. Um, it might be this one or the one back there that's got the torch. Oh, here we go. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and select that. That way we'll be able to see a little bit better. I can't believe how dark it is. Yeah, I, I think it looks really neat, but it, it is a little bit tricky uh, to find your way around. Luckily, this torch gives off gives off a lot of light. But... A little creepy, but yeah. yeah. So there should be a torch right around, or not a torch, but a lantern. Uh, remember lighting these up with the tech labs? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Seems so. Oh. Yeah, watch Guardians. this guy. All right. Yep, looks like there's some more eyeballs we'll need to take care of, so let's go ahead and uh, hit these. In this room, you won't really be able to advance far with, um, if you don't take care of some of these eyeballs, so go ahead and do that if you can. I think there's another one right Yeah, there's here. one hiding up there. Yeah, you don't need to get all of them, but uh, most of them you'll want to. All right, let's go ahead and light our torch back up. Alright, I think there should be another little lantern over here that we'll need a light. So let's just head back in this direction. I think over here. Yep. Let's go ahead and light that. This, I think, might be the last one. Oh yeah, oh, here we go. Oh, there's a pedestal. So here's the where we need to put our slate, so let's go ahead and do that. Looks really cool with everything being dark. <laughs> there's only... It, it's amazing how much you can't see, but... There's not that many areas in, in this game that are like this. It's yeah. kind of cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, just like with Varuta, this should give us the map for this divine beast, and I wonder how we'll be able to manipulate it. Huh, okay, it looks like this with this one, we can tilt it 90 degrees. Pretty cool. Divine beast controls have been enabled. All right. Nice job getting the map of the divine beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. All right, thanks, Daruk. And um, luckily for us, the uh, roof will open and now we can ah, see. Ah, light. Yes. Cool. All right, we're inside. And... I remember when I first did this, I'm like, this is going to be the hardest beast ever. And then... It opened up like that. Oh, right? Yeah. Could you imagine having to do this all in the dark? That'd be nuts, wouldn't it? All right. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the map real quick. All right. We see we have five terminals kind of spread around the Divine Beast. Um, one of them is really close to us. It's actually right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, but it's sideways. So I guess we'll need to uh, rotate. Rotate the beast, huh? Yep. Yep. Make that work. <laughs> All right, so let's check what's in these chests. Yep, arrows to um, give us back all the ones that we've shot so far. Cool. Oh, nice. Right, appreciate that. All right, so we'll need to tilt this divine beast, and um, luckily for us, there's a nice, convenient place to stand when we do this. Oh, it's, it's that way already. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so a nice place to stand for... Uh... Oh, just descend down onto it. Yep. So we can just pull our glider out and just uh, slowly get to this terminal here. There are four terminals remaining. 
that's the way. Perfect. I like how encouraging Daruk is too. He's very positive, unlike uh, Urbosa's uh, encouraging too, but she is. And uh, we actually won't get to her until uh, she's a, a little later. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually going to be the very last divine beast we do. But she is definitely one of my favorite champions. Yep. Right, let's grab ourselves a new knight's bow here. Let me as well. There we go. And hmm. All right. So we got one terminal down. I think we're going to need to. Actually, we can just. We can leave it like this. All right. Not bad. <laughs> There's another chest over here I don't think we've opened, but I think this one has like a dragon bone club or bat or something. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I don't think we have room for it, so we're just going to leave it there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and rotate one more time. Uh, there's only two ways you can rotate this, so... Uh, looks like there's a uh, gate blocking the way, and there's another lantern through this thing that looks like a Shika eyeball. <laughs> uh, looks like... Uh, right, so probably should... That's a lamp. Probably yeah. if you light it, it's like one of those... I think it'll open the door, but yeah. how are we going to get to it? We can't... Shoot it. Oh, yeah. We Shoot could... it with an arrow, I we think? We could use an arrow. You're right. All right. I think we did some of that for uh, lighting the um, the blue flame. Yeah. Well, there was that... Cool. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. That was... Nice. Let's grab our airport burns. <laughs> relatively easy. Yep. And, uh, whoa, look at that. That's crazy, isn't it? Okay. Um, hmm. We're gonna have to get rid of this somehow. Let's see what else is in this room. What's up there? Some stuff we can burn. All right, well, good thing we have fire near us. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ow. Well, our arrow's on fire, so let's... <laughs> that worked. Cool, okay. Yeah, not quite the way I wanted to do that, but it works. All right, so it looks like there's a metal cube right back here. Um, this might help block some of the flames. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, that. That's just kind of tall. How are we going to get over this? Uh... I guess... Wow. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we could rotate it, maybe. That might... Well, it might move the block, too. Well, yeah, that would work. Block shouldn't shift anywhere. Okay, perfect. Alright, and, um... There's actually a terminal back here. Cool. Let's go ahead and rotate it the right way again, and we should be able to activate this terminal. There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. All righty, and... Uh, oh, of course, now the flames are... Yeah. Running. Luckily for us, uh, we'll be able to um, get right back out. We won't have to rotate it again. Okay, so here's another interesting little area here. Mm. Let's go ahead and burn this. Luckily, you can use the blue flame to burn stuff, too. Although, I'm kind of sad that the um, when it catches on fire that... The, it doesn't burn blue. Yeah, right. All right, so let's open these doors. There's another another uh, terminal right back here. And some more leaves we can burn, so let's do that. All right, I think that'll make a chest fall down. Let's grab our arrow real quick and hopefully not get hit by the chest. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was close. Good thing I moved right. It'll give you a headache. Yeah, right. All right, cool. Ancient gear. All right, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and activate this terminal, and we're more than halfway done. Yep. There are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Alrighty, so there's one more terminal in the body of the beast, you could say. And it's going to be right back behind here. And there's, it looks like, uh, we've seen this before. We're yeah, we need put, an orb, it looks like. That's right. Um, and we can actually go up this little ramp thing here, too. So let's go ahead and, um, I think we'll need to rotate it this way, right? Yeah. In order to get outside. Looks like there's a little metal cube we can manipulate as well, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and a chest on the other side of this, so we'll, oh, have, to, yeah, we'll there have to grab is. that on the way down. Alright, but let's head up this ramp and see. We can actually get to the outside of the Divine Beast. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. Yeah, and if you have a metal or a wooden weapon, it will catch fire once you step out here, because it is hot. Um, Alright, so it looks like there is a uh, another little lantern here we'll need a light. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna need to... Oh, uh, there's the orb. Oh yeah, the orb is inside here, so... We'll probably need to light that lantern in order to get... In order to get uh, that spirit orb, that ancient orb out. Right, I'm gonna leave that skull alone. Oh! 
All right, you want to fight? Let's go. <laughs> right? I'll show you. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, grab our torch, and we'll need a light. Uh, light it with the blue flame here. And let's head over here so we can get back to the bottom of this ramp. Or once we rotate the beast, it'll be the bottom of the ramp. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and start rotating. All right, so a friendly reminder, uh, keep your uh, keep your thumb away from the sprint button because uh, if you sprint, you will put your torch away and it will not light. And then you gotta do this all over again. Yep, yeah. so uh, resist any urge to sprint. All righty, as soon as you get here, you can start rotating the beast again. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can just um, kind of make your way around as it rotates. Let's go ahead and light that lamp here. That'll open up the, uh, the thing there. And there it goes. You can cheat by going in the vents too, by the way. You can cheat by going in the vents? The skylights. Oh, I guess so, yeah. There's um, these things, yeah, they, they are open, so we can fall back down. That could work. Alright, so I didn't quite want to go under it like this, but whatever. There it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and raise this. That should allow the orb to fall down and right inside the slot. And here goes the door. Chibink! Cool. Alright, here's our second to last terminal. Let's activate it. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Alrighty, and the last one is actually going to be on the outside, kind of like on his spine, I guess you could say. Alright, so we'll need to head right back up. Let's go ahead and use this ramp one more time. And we may as well grab the uh, treasure chest, too. That might have something good inside of it. Oh, on here, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think if we stand right on the chest... Okay. I think this is a good way to do it. If you stand right on the chest, as, as the beast rotates, he'll just kind of conveniently be right by it. Perfect. Oh, I just got another knight's bow. Okay. Well, if you need a pretty good bow, then that's where to go grab it. But we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make this jump here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, now I'm about sick of this thing spitting out all these skulls. Where's it coming from? Oh, there's uh, there's something oh, there right here. Is. Yep. Go ahead and take care of that. Nice. That's probably where they're all coming from. Probably. All right. Oh, and there's a chest right up here Ooh, too. There is. Pretty cool. Oh, it looks like there's some more. Another ball, eyeball up yeah, there. there's another eyeball there. Okay, we should be able to take care of that one too. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can grab this chest. There it is. Uh, looks like we'll have to rotate beast again. All right, if we walk along this, I think we'll be able to get to it, right? Yep, there it is. All right, let's just carefully hop on over. <sighs> oh Ooh. my gosh. We have like one foot on the beast and one foot dangling above right? the lava. One yeah, foot in the grave. Yeah. Cool, ancient core, nice. Yep, so if you don't have your um, Stasis Plus upgraded yet, then uh, that can be a really good way to get your one of the ancient cores you need. And luckily for us, there's our last there terminal. Is. There it is. Yep. Let's go ahead and rotate one final time. That should make it easy for us to get over here. And there we are. Nice! That was the last terminal. <laughs> now go ahead and start up the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. Alrighty, here we go. We know what this is all about, don't we? Okay, so the main control unit is actually very close to us. It's right down there, so... Let's drop down, and... Let's make sure we have some pretty good weapons, because we know what we're going to be up against, right? Yep. We know what's happening kind of next. Yep. Right, so I'm just going to...
do our little guardian sword here. That's fine. Everything's good. Okay. And we're not at full health, but we do have Mipha's Grace just in case we do die. But hopefully we'll be all right. Do, do, do you have any fairies? I think I do have some fairies. Let's check just to make sure. Oh, here we go. Right down here. Yeah, we yeah. got four. You I got think, a, I think okay. we're fine. Mipha's Grace decoy? and fairies, we're good. All right, let's go. All right, Ace-10. You can do this. I hope so. wondering what this monstrosity is going to look like. They're always hideous. Just different forms of it. Oh. Alright, that's a pretty serious looking sword. Somebody did not have their Cheerios this morning. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is Dan and Tandy work. Thing got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him! Alright, and this is the Scourge of Watch Divine out, Beast Father Donny of Fireblade Ganon. And yeah, just as Daruk said, uh, we need to watch out for that sword. <laughs> All right, so he's just gonna swing his sword side to side. Sometimes he'll raise it up above his head and swing down in a straight line. So you'll just need to be careful not to get hit by it. Uh, and you can actually dodge these attacks. So if he's uh, swinging it side to side, you can do a backflip. With that one, oh boy. All right, uh, with that one, he'll go side to side Just like that, times. don't jump off for Donia. Yeah, we can help him by suiciding ourselves, but. All right. So yeah, we're gonna try some dodges here and see if that can work. All right, so let's lock on. All right, oh yeah, this is another attack that it'll do, so just uh, be careful. I'm gonna heal up real quick, because that took a lot of damage off of me. Yeah, it did. All right. A lot more than I was expecting. Yep. All right, so we'll wanna backflip here. And that was a little early, but not too bad. There we go. Okay. All right, back away as soon as you can because he'll uh, go in for another attack. I think that one you can backflip as well. All right, you should also be able to uh, reflect his attacks with your shield. Let me give that a shot. That was way too early. That's all right. Yeah, that one's hard to time because he holds it up above his head for such a and long time. you can't time. see it, yeah. There, there we go. go, there's a shield bash. That'll leave him a little bit open. Perfect. All right, we'll nope, need another one or, sword down. Another sword here. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. Down to half. All right. So you can also shoot his little glowing eye, that blue eye. You can also shoot him with arrows. Oh, it's stun him. Yes, you can also do that too. I think if you. Um, flaming ball is dangerous. Sure is. All right, so. so he's gonna start sucking up everything. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, like the Octorox. Oh yeah. Ooh, just beautiful. Throw a bomb close to him, and he will be down for the count. All right. Back up he goes. All right, and then he will do the same sort of thing with the sword as he's as he did before in the first phase. All right, he got us there. But yeah, his sword's a little more powerful because they'll cause uh, cause little flames like that to appear. Right, let's see if we can shoot him with some arrows. All right, we got a perfect hit, and yeah, it kind of stuns him in midair. We can't really hit him from here, but and I I saw he was about to do another attack. Let's see if he'll do it again. I don't know if he will. I kind of wanted him to do it, but it looked like he was going to summon this large fireball and throw it at us. So I'm not sure if he'll do it again. That one you can also reflect with your shield. Alright, so two perfect hits will stun him. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, that killed him. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Seems like a sore loser. Ha ha ha. 
Yeah, that wasn't too, too difficult. Who's gonna clean that mess up? <laughs> Looks like it's vaporizing, so yeah. Hopefully it just cleans itself up. That's nice. Alright. And do we get our heart container? Yes we do. There it is. Very nice. I like Don't it. forget to leave it like you did one time. I don't have I left a heart container behind? Probably. Yep. If you do that by accident. You can always warp back to the Divine Beast. You can't go inside of it, but the heart container should appear outside. Yep. So don't worry, you won't lose it altogether if you don't pick it up. Alrighty, so that will give us heart container number 10, I think. I think we have 13 total. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, yep. we do. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and activate the main control unit. And uh, just like with Varuta, once we activate it, we will not be able to re-enter. So no. if you have any treasure chest or anything else you want to grab before... Uh, leaving do that right now before activating but we're ready to go so let's do it great work little guy I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! <laughs> From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. Link is in the castle. Rutania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. 
I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey! Look at that! Still going strong indeed! Ha! to get Daruk's Protection, a protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks, as long as you're holding ZL. Awesome. That cutscene always gets me emotional. It is a very good cutscene. Seeing, seeing Daruk and Yunobo like, see each other and like wave to each other. That's it's just... one of the few cutscenes that is actually finishes like that after the Divine Beast. Oh yeah, right. Well, uh, this episode's probably running a little on the long side, so we are going to leave it there. In the next episode, we are going to head over to Bluto, talk to him, because that's the last thing we need to do after completing the Divine Beast. And then we're going to... Come on, Matt, can I zoom out? Thank you. <laughs> and then we're going to head a little further west because that's kind of the direction we're going. So I wonder what's yeah. going to wait us there. I don't know. Hmm. All right. A lot of heat here. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe snow. I can't remember. I yeah. Know. Hopefully it's not going to be fire like yeah. the volcano. Well, anyways, that'll uh, do it for this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching so far. My name is Ace10. And I'm Decoy. And don't forget to have fun. That's right. Stay tuned for the next episodes to come in and enjoy watching. Bye. <laughs>